This section is going back, remember uh, towards the beginning we said that there were four family members in the household. So this section is going back and just asking some more information, not about the parents or the student whom we've already provided information for, but in this case, because I said there were four family members, I'm asking about that. I'm being asked about that one additional family member. So I'm assuming this is a sister, um, who is younger and in middle school. Um, but if it was a sibling who maybe was going to college, there, this is where you'd provide that information about what kind of expenses your parents are dealing with for that sibling who's also in college. This is the famous explanation in special circumstances section that we kept referring to. So this space gives you up to 2,000 characters to explain your family's financial situation. So I've just written a couple of sentences here um, to give you an idea of the kinds of things that we see. You know, if there were anything, if there's something uh, unique going on with your families that you feel like the questions haven't appropriately addressed up to this point, this is your opportunity to tell us about that. So feel free to provide as much detail as you want here. This information goes only to the schools to whom you've asked to have the profile sent. Um, and we really do read this information when we see it in-house. So this is your chance to tell the financial aid office directly what's going on with you. If we need more information, if we want more detail, uh, we, we'll, we'll let you know, we'll ask you questions, but at least this is your opportunity to uh, give us some basic information. For example, if you indicated in the parent's income sections that there was going to be a dramatic shift from one year to the next in the parent's income, you would want to tell us about that in this explanation and special circumstances section. In this example that I wrote, uh, just letting us know that this family, although the years that we looked at on the profile, their information may have been pretty healthy. That family is still recovering from a period of, of unemployment. So that's a helpful thing for a financial aid office to know. It might help to explain you know, some inconsistencies that we see in the application. You might also want to list in here things like uh, families who are supporting family members uh, like grandparents, for example. They aren't counted in the family member household. They aren't living under the same roof, but parents are having to provide financial support for them. Um, so that information is helpful for the financial aid office to know. This is really your chance to tell us anything unique about your family situation. This is an interesting section, the supplemental questions. So this, you may not even be faced with this section. It really depends on the schools that you've listed, the ones that you've asked to have the profile sent. So we, the schools, have an opportunity to tell profile um, to please ask this specific question of all of our first year students. So these are the questions that you would be presented with if you had indicated you want your profile to go to Stanford. So we actually asked the question about uh, support to relatives here because we find that that's a relatively common thing that parents uh, often forget to tell us about. Um, and just some questions here, I'll skip down to, we ask questions about your intended field of study and your career objective, we use that to match students up with specific scholarship funds who may have preference for one type of student or another. So again, your questions presented in this section are gonna be different depending on the institutions that you are sending your profile to. And there's a little listing here that will tell you which schools are asking which questions.